built this almost exactly 25 years ago solid cedar it's been sitting outside on the deck ever since um, we like it beside the uh, clothesline we use it for holding laundry baskets and i thought today that i would try fixing it but then i'm not sure it just might be finished but i am still gonna take it apart and see if there's anything salvageable because we still want a table here in fact i'd like a slightly bigger table <sighs> This will hold like one laundry hamper. We'd like to make it just a little bigger so it can hold two. Oh, that one's just spinning. Even cedar's got a lifetime. We'll see, we'll see. Wow. Yeah, that one's finished. Not sure I'm gonna get much out of that table. Luckily, I have more junk. I was gonna throw this out. This is like an old toy box that I knocked together for outdoor toys like 15 years ago out of cedar fence boards. And most of the most of the one by material is good. If it looks like it's leaning, it is because I've lost about two inches off of the front legs, but still, hopefully I can get something out of this. And that is what we got. Okay, I got it all in the shop now. And uh, yeah, the table was mostly junk. It was interesting though. It was the wood on wood. Like here is a where the wood was touching and that's where it's rotting away. So I guess that, that's where water was trapped. This piece is almost, I mean, it weighs nothing, so it's been it's been losing something over those uh, 25 years, but it is not rotting. It is this was the cross piece at the bottom, so it's completely elevated in the air. Just had a little bit of wood on wood contact at the end, but never it was not the top, but it was also not the leg where it stood on the ground. So yeah, I've got I got three boards out of that that I think are probably rotten, but I brought them down anyways just as backup. The leg assemblies, I thought I was going to be able to reuse the leg assemblies because they looked good, but once I got the top off, it's like the top inch or two is, uh, again, pretty rotted away. That's, uh, I mean, cedar is amazing, but 25 years outside. But I've kept this like this because I'm, I'm sort of wanting to use this angle, I think, on the table, the replacement table. So I've just kept this to maybe use as a pattern. Now, the toy box was another matter. I got almost all of that salvage this was just made out of one by six fence boards and in fact i found that the label was still on them it's one by six wrc western red cedar premium and yeah anything that was not touching the ground i mean you can you can still see the color this this was where it was uh, covered up by a connection but um there is some junky stuff that i'm gonna have to work around but so let me set the stage. I was gonna throw these out and I'm curious to see if I can build something useful out of it. I know I'm not gonna get another 20, 25 years out of this, though I, I am kind of amazed at cedar, um, but I'm gonna still maybe get another five years, maybe five, 10 years uh, of a, a little table. And it's just still gonna be a little table to hold the laundry basket beside the clothesline. It doesn't need to be fancy. So my design is your classic draw it on a piece of paper and make it up in the shop situation. I mean, I'm pretty much trying to make something like the old table, but maybe a bit bigger if I can. You know, got to work with the wood that we got. So I've already got something kind of doodled up. I'm looking for about 22 inches tall, 24 inches wide and 30, I say 30 here, but I think more like 34 inches long if possible. So I've got those long boards. So I'm hoping I can maybe do something like that. And then maybe I'll put one alongside. And then maybe, you can't really see it, but maybe I'll put a cross piece in the middle and then something here at the end. And then I pretty much wanna duplicate what I had for the leg. So a bit of a splay, cross piece there. And then let's see, 
First thing I'm going to do is put an old blade in the table saw. Pretty sure I got all the screws out. But I built it so long ago I have no idea if there's any nails hiding. So, so I took one of the old leg assemblies and I'll put my speed square here. And there it's at 90 and when I tip it so that it lines up. And it's at the 80 degree mark, so I'm guess I'm, these should be a 10 degree cut. So the legs from the original table were too rotten, but I liked the angle. So I took the angle, 10 degrees, and I thought, well, I, I need something fairly solid for the legs. So I looked at the legs off of the toy box, and as you may recall from outside, the one side, I forget, back or front, was rotted away. And these are, these are too short for me to cut them to what I want. But the legs on the front, these are almost 24 inches. I'm looking for like 21, 22 inches. So I'm going to take these over to my miter saw and I'm going to cut them at a 10 degree angle. And that's the L shape here will give it lots of strength. So that's two legs, but I need four. And so hard to believe, but this is some of the two by fours from the table. I took two of the ones that were not bad and I ripped, resawed the cheeks off one side and then the other side. And yeah, they are, it's got that orange of orangey red cedar look to it. They are hopefully good enough. And I'm gonna use these to make the other two legs. trick with the angle is you got to make sure that they are complementary so that you have one for the right side, one for the left side, especially when you're cutting them. I was careful to mark them and I'm going to assemble these right now. One thing I am reusing is the hardware. Like I used a mix of uh, all these years ago, I used a mix of stainless, which of, is perfect. It's fine. And uh, these green, uh, these are proper exterior screws and they're fine, so there's no reason not to reuse them. So next I want to put the leg assembly together, like that. And the way I did that is I positioned the legs on the tabletop, on the, on the table saw, and then I put them against the fence about 24 inches apart. And then using that same 10 degree cut, I cut one of the scrap pieces for that. And then these were actually the other leg assemblies which were too short, but they will work here. So I got the four pieces for the top and then let's, this piece of two by four I just ripped is for the cross piece. That's not bad. Now I need something here. Still got a few pieces like this. Like, I wonder if I should just do this and this. Yes, I need a cross piece. I need, This one I'll rip into a little strip for this. That's 31. That's 35. So I got two inches at each end. I think I'm going to put this a little bit shorter. That's good. I'm going to take a half inch off each end of this. And that'll let me bring the whole thing in. So there'll be two and a half inches overhang. That's not much. That's good. 
And then I can put a strip across here and maybe the middle and yes, 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 yes. Okay, these are the boards that I've picked out for the top. And I'm going to fasten them together from below. So I've cut these boards to 23 inches and I beveled the ends. So just, I want this up. So turn them over. So now they're upside down. And we will line them up and let's see. That, hmm, I might actually need to fit another one in here. Because I'm looking for 24. So yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a gap in between, but I don't know that I really want this much of a gap in between. Oh, well, I want to go like this. I want a two and a half piece in the middle, maybe. That's gonna look a bit weird. What do I have? I'm really getting down to the bare bones. I've got this board, it's not the greatest. This was one near the bottom, so that's kind of heavily saturated. And I have this board, which was part of the lid, and it's kind of feels beat up. You know, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I will cut two and a half. I'm gonna cut two and a half off of this, and I'll be right back. The top on this bench is just a hair over 24, so I'm using that to line things up. Yep. So the under assembly is 30, so I want a gap of 30 between this. Inch and a half, inch and a half, so that's three inches was 30, 33, so I need one inch from the end. Let's just get the one in first. Where are my screws? Where are they? So these are just a touch long, so I want to make sure I do them all on the angle because that's what I've got to work with, so. And do not overdrive them or we will be... Just gonna leave it like that. Same at the other end. And before I fasten this one down, I'm gonna put this top, or rather I'm putting the leg assembly in place. Now I can just snug this up at this end, put that one inch mark in. Again, on the angle, don't over tighten, and the same at that end. And then all the rest. So the top's done, now let's get this cross piece attached. Again, I'm still reusing screws, but now I've got the long ones. Using three inch deck screws, to attach the top into these side battens. It's a, a little bit tight on space, but it is working. Not ideal, but again, working with uh, reclaimed material, you don't always get a lot of choice. Yep, it's not gonna get banged around a lot. All set. Cut a few more boards to length, and I'm going to add that here Give some good reinforcement. I probably don't need it, but I'm being extra careful. So I cut two more pieces at 10 degrees and they're gonna fit in here. I'm not gonna attach them to the top. It's just gonna give support for, uh, for the top for weight and so on. And uh, I have the wood. I thought I was gonna run out completely, but and that, is that it's clearly clearly reused but a little bit of sun on this and it'll go gray and I was worried about strength but feels pretty strong so some sanding and I think I'm gonna router the edges making a moat around the feet so that I can pour epoxy. 
make a little foot. This is probably going to be too much. Oh, well, we'll see. It might be too much. And just stir it well. Here's hoping the tape doesn't leak. Okay, let's do each of the four legs like that and then we will see. It is soaking into the end grain, which is what I want. Soak into the end grain and make a nice barrier. And there we go. Leave it sit overnight and then tomorrow we're done. Okay, it's now the next day and these have had long enough to dry. So it did definitely soak in here. That's good. I use this tuck tape because it's super sticky, but that also means it's super sticky. So I give it a bit more sanding just to clean up some bits that I noticed were still a bit rough. And I think this table is ready to go back outside. Now, somebody's gonna ask about finish. Um, it's cedar. Um, I, I, you can finish cedar, but then you're gonna be refinishing it every year. Um, I've, I follow the just let it weather gray because that's what it's going to do. And I got 25 years out of the first table, never put any finish on it. It was, uh, you know, the original table was leftover scraps from a fence that I built at my previous house. Okay, enough chatter. I think that's about it. I'm gonna take it outside now and get it set up. But as always, thanks for stopping by, spending some time in my shop. I hope you got some interesting ideas out of this about maybe some places where you can uh, reclaim some wood or build something or maybe a, layout ideas or just you know <laughs> the wonder that is natural western red cedar so that's it for now uh thanks for stopping by we'll see you in the next one and of course yes it fits two laundry baskets